Let's assume the students are interested in studying at the KIT already know that this institution has a well-renowned uh, history and a large and is a university with a large scale research institution. They already know that the master program in water science and engineering is offered by the KIT Department of Civil Engineering, Geo and Environmental Science. Professor Ullmann, could you please be so kind to introduce uh, the department and the institutes involved in the program? Yes, um, our department of um, civil engineering and geoscience involves um, all the activities uh, which have to do with civil engineering, so that's planning and uh, building of infrastructure, but also the geoscientific uh, disciplines. And um, in terms of the institutes which are mainly involved in the teaching here, we have um, the Institute of River Basin Management with uh, three chairs which are involved. Then the Institute for Hydromechanics uh, with two chairs, one of which is uh, my chair. Then we have an institute called the Engler Bunze Institute where the chair of um, water chemistry is involved mainly and the um, Institute for Applied, Applied Hydrogeology. But there's also other courses which are imported from other departments like uh, biology and maths. And in terms of infrastructure, we have a number of labs or laboratories which are available to, the, to these courses, including um, fluid mechanics laboratories, chemical analysis, and also field equipment. Who is the target group of the Master Program of Water Science and Engineering, Professor Ullmann? So, prospective candidates for this master course are uh, those students who want to um, deepen their knowledge in uh, water-related um, uh, studies. And uh, these involve, uh, well, as well engineers uh, as um, natural science students. And, um, well, the, the opportunity here in this course is that they are more flexible in um, assembling their curriculum than they would be if they would study, for example, a classical civil engineering master degree. Um, Professor Ullmann, students who have completed their bachelor degree at another university, either in Germany or in another country, they do have an important question. Does my bachelor degree uh, meet the admission criteria of the master degree program water science and engineering? And could you please explain the details of the admission? Yes, um, it must be a state approved university from which they have um, obtained an official bachelor's degree with a minimum of 180 credit points. And um, the target um, bachelor degrees are in the engineering disciplines like civil engineering or um, process engineering, but also in uh, natural sciences and uh, geosciences. Well, as a student counselor, I do know that uh, students tend uh, to inform uh, about their prospective study programs on the web. We do have an extended information set on the website and this information has been divided into information for international students as well as for students who are from the European or German universities. Uh, please go to our website, which are stated here in the video, to get further information beforehand. But let's go a little bit more into details of the admission criteria. What courses have to be completed for a bachelor students in order to be accepted for the master program? Yes, there are a few requirements uh, and they are regarding uh, mathematics. Uh, there needs to be a minimum of 12 credit points which are completed in the field of mathematics. And there's also additional uh, criteria for the fields of physics and mechanics, uh, for bio biology and uh, chemistry, and then for water-related topics. Um, out of these three fields or three uh, related uh, subject areas, there need to be at least two of them um, filled with at least 10 credit points. So in addition, there's a requirement that um, uh, candidates possess a valid uh, English certificate, uh, the details of which are stated on the, uh, the website, which we will uh, name in a second. Professor Ullmann, is there a procedure in place where students can get a pre-check of their bachelor, whether that's been accepted or not? At the moment, it's, um, as I think, relatively straightforward to check for the candidates themselves whether they fulfill the requirements. Uh, they are not that numerous uh, and all the details are on the website. But if in doubt, uh, you can always uh, drop us an email and um, then we will answer you.
All applicants who fill, fulfill the general requirements have to take part in an interview. And how do the inf uh, students, prospective students, will be informed? And what is going to happen in the interview? Yeah, that's an important point in this course. So we indeed have interviews. All prospective students uh, need to uh, attend the interview. Um, these interviews will be held in Karlsruhe and uh, students or applicants will be informed by email when it takes place uh, and where. In exceptional cases where traveling is not possible, we can also um, hold the interviews remotely by telephone or video conference. Concerning the content of the interview, uh, during the interview, um, the uh, candidates will need to reply to questions regarding their previous courses as well as the motivation for uh, enrolling in this program. Um, and concerning the notification afterwards, um, as soon as possible as we uh, know the um, results, we will inform the students about the outcome of the interview. There are four different areas of specialization in the master program. One is water technology and urban water cycle. One is fluid mechanics and hydraulic engineering. Environmental system dynamics and management and water resources engineering. Those are four profiles. Does a student have to decide beforehand when he applies for one of these uh, specializations? No, actually it's not necessary that the students know beforehand or that they mark during the application process which of the profiles they will uh, select. However, they definitely need to make a choice before the end of the first semester when it uh, starts to get to the um, exams. And uh, I should also note that there's a mentor system or mentoring system um, in place in this uh, program so that there will be a lecturer selected by each candidate who will assist and advise the students on their choice of subjects. However, I should also note that actually these four profiles are one of the strengths of this um, master program. So if someone has a good idea um, beforehand, that's actually um, a plus. Well, after the uh, admission procedure, after the successful interview, students have to take the next steps. They will receive an official letter of uh, admission and in the letter it's been stated what procedures are going on. The first challenge in, uh, in your study is always getting accommodation in Karlsruhe. The student counseling service, which is placed in the center of the KIT, would give you some advice and some hints. Professor Ullmann, let's come to the final question. What are the career perspectives of graduates of this master program? Well, I think it's safe to say that um, the question of water and water supply will be of increasing importance in the future. So uh, I can hardly see how someone specialized in this uh, topic area will be um, in a bad position in finding a job.